Okay. So we missed out on three shows last week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We had to dedicate that time to fly out to New Orleans. Let me, let me back up and let me just explain everything that happened. So Arch Manning, who is the nephew of Peyton and Eli Manning, number one quarterback prospect in 2023. Great player. Great kid, by the way. NBC was broadcasting their game. This past Thursday, a buddy of mine, uh, one of my boys, he live streams games and he got contracted out by NBC to fly out to New Orleans and get a whole crew together and let's go ahead and, and broadcast this Arch Manning game. They were supposed to do an interview with Arch Manning. It was supposed to be Drew Brees that went out and interviewed Arch Manning. Drew couldn't make it. And so my boy that got contracted out to live stream the game, he hit me up and he said, Hassan, this opportunity right here, you got to come out to New Orleans. You have the inter- opportunity to interview Arch Manning. This could put time football on the freaking map. I was like, man, I got daily Monday through Friday live shows. I don't know if I can do it. He was like, okay, cool. Just think on it. Two days later, he hit me up again. He, you got to come out to New Orleans. You got to come. This is the opportunity. And I was like, you know what? You're right. If I get this interview with Arch Manning, 10 to 15 minutes, sit down with them. It's going to be incredible for the brand. So I fly out to New Orleans, right? We got this interview locked in. It was Wednesday at 630. We go out to New Orleans. We're going to show up at Isidore Newman School, which is a school that Peyton, Eli, Cooper, uh, Odell Beckham, all of them played at. Arch plays it over there. So we go out there. Three hours. Before the interview was supposed to happen, Arch pulls out. I flew out to New Orleans for no reason. So I don't know if whether it was him that pulled out. I don't know whether it was his family. I don't know whether it was the coach, the athletic director, whatever. But on his Wikipedia page, if you look at Arch Manning's Wikipedia page, it there's a section that says he does not interview uh, way too much because the Manning family is trying to protect him, which makes sense. Like, he's just a kid. Wants to focus on football, want to focus, focus on school. Got it. Already gets the overexposure with this last name. But we had a 10 to 15 minute interview already scheduled. And then we couldn't, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. So it was a little bit disappointing. I was able to get uh, a little bit of footage. Um, by the way, this is the, uh, we drove by the Superdome in New Orleans. So I'm trying to co- cross off a, a list of things to do. Uh, let me go ahead and mute this. Uh, and I'm trying to see every stadium in New Orleans or in the United States, every NFL stadium. So seeing the uh, Superdome was actually really, really cool and uh, a cool opportunity. Uh, also, we saw Isidore Newman School as well. We traveled out there. Um, so this is the place, like I said, where Peyton, Eli, Cooper, Odell, all of them played at here at Isidore Newman School. So, you know, and they were practicing right here and, and Arch is kind of mixed in there somewhere. Uh, I think he's on the sideline, but uh, – yeah, I mean, all the big names came out there as well. Uh, we were at the game, and I filmed a little bit of footage at the game. Actually, Texas head coach Steve Sarkeesian was there, uh, as you can see right here. You know, uh, sometimes my footage is a little bit shaky, but that's okay. But he's just chilling, man. He's just chilling. He's just scouting. Uh, hopefully, he can land. Uh, I-, I think Texas is actually the favorite to uh, land uh, Arch Manning, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, so this is all footage I just shot by myself. Uh so, like, we were there. We saw him practice. We saw him play. And, uh, man, and, you know, he didn't have the best performance because the team that he faced had a really good defense. But, you know, still a very good player. Uh, and good leader and, and, and captain on top of that as well. So even though it was kind of disappointing not to have the opportunity to uh, interview him, you know, I gave him a little bit of the uh, – the, the only words that I gave to him was just, How's it going? That's it. That's it. So, missed opportunity. Let me see if I got any other stuff. I mean, it's just random footage, random clips. But, yeah, like I was right next to him too. And it's just, I don't know. I, I was more concerned about uh, Steve Sarkeesian. I wanted to go up to him and uh, say, as a Falcons fan, I just wanted to tell him how much I loved him being the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons when he took over after we we went to the Super Bowl. But 
uh, yeah, Arch Manning, the interview did not happen, but we had the opportunity to go out there and film him, which, I mean, not the same thing. But, yeah, I mean, what can you say? I was the uh, understudy for Drew Brees. Drew Brees couldn't make it. They hit up Hassan Khan at time to football to interview him. And then he pulls out three hours before. Needless to say, that's the story of how I almost interviewed Arch Manning. Almost. That's okay. Gives me a little bit of hope that there are way more opportunities out there and that this isn't the end for time to football. There's going to be many more athletes that we have the chance to interview. We've already interviewed a few. I think like close to 40 NFL players so far. So we're, we're moving on up. 